energy. Sending you all love and light. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, or subscribed. If you purchased a reading, if you've donated to my page, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Okay, so it's just healthy communication and relationships, heart-to-heart -heart discussions, and clear assertive communication. Help you understand and be understood. Aqua Aura is the stone here, this crystal. Okay, so you guys are needing to open up your mouth and have some healthy communication. Maybe you guys have been uh, not communicating on the level that you should be. Uh, maybe you guys are holding back from saying some of the things that you want to say to a person. Or maybe when you go to say things to someone, you're, you're exploding instead of having that conversation. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so... You guys are feeling like you're captivated by someone right now, passionately. Okay. Yeah, you may feel like uh, someone lights your fire. This deer has antlers that are on fire. Okay. Um, if this is not someone that you're with, this is someone that you may be waiting for to come back to you. Or you could have met this person after a period of waiting for someone to come back to you. You guys take it how it resonates for you. Hmm. So all these cards just flipped out, right? So we're just going to take a look at them. Guidance, blessings, answered prayer, spirit of the angels. Okay, so you guys are getting some answered prayers right now from the divine. You may have been asking for someone to come into your life that is worthy of your time and attention. Um, for some of you, if this is a new person, you could have been like, so look, this is a very sexual card for me. Passion, right? This is telling me you was fucking like rabbits and shit during, during the spring. This could have been someone that you, you just was digging out, okay? They're digging you out, whatever it is, right? But now... Um, someone from your past or someone that had you waiting... Uh, in some way, or if this is you, maybe someone that um, you had waiting is moving really guarded. You may have received a love letter, an email, a text message, or a phone call from this person, or you will be. Give me one more card, Spirit. All right. So, yeah, as you... Uh, I feel like you were waiting for this person to come back into your life. You have went on. You started to get your blessings, right? Because you're away from that cycle. You're not indulging in that cycle, even though you were trying to keep yourself attached to one. See how it resonates? You guys working on your energy, trying to raise your vibration, trying to resurrect yourself, having a rebirth, a new life. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. But you're going to get a message from someone here. And it's going to cause you to go on your guard. The Spirit is saying that you need to communicate correctly. This person may be watching you or you could be watching them. Okay. Right. Someone was moving real superficial. They weren't being who they are. This person could have embarrassed you in some way. I'm hearing that they could have embarrassed you throughout the neighborhood. Whatever that means. Wow. Meaning, uh, you guys may be from a neighborhood where people knew that you guys were a couple with someone that you're no longer with. That person could have been doing some low down, dirty ass shit that could have had you embarrassed because people was clowning you on the back inside. Right? This person may be trying to manipulate your energy. You were in a situation with this person where the, the relationship was one-sided. You may have been loving them more, may have been doing more for them, right? They felt, they had you feeling uncomfortable with the shit that they was doing or that they were into. I am hearing that this person probably was seeing other people behind your back. And now they're envious because now you have someone that you seem to be into. That seems to be a blessing for you. And they feel foolish. Why? Because they didn't do what the hell they needed to do. Right? 
is moving like a coward. And now they're not going to tell you how they feel. They don't want to. Right? Because that means that I have to be submissive a bit. I have to allow you into my thoughts. And I don't want you to be in, in my thoughts. I don't want to tell you shit. Because that means that I have to surrender. Hmm. Someone here is an attention whore, too. Hmm. They don't like that you're not paying attention to them. They like... They like being... Okay. They like people to sweat them. They want the attention on them. And if they're not getting that attention, they do shit to try and drum up some attention. And sometimes this could be attention that's not even positive. They don't give a shit. They'll argue with your ass to get your attention. This is someone. They're kind of delusional, right? Maybe put an evil eye on you as well, right? They're a little obsessive too because they feel like you are their property. No longer, no matter if you guys are with them or not, they may be watching you. Of watching what you're doing. Could be watching you on social media. Just be mindful. Right? They may feel like you are... Oh. If this is a male energy, they feel like you're dating women that remind you of them. They feel like you keep trying to replace them in the women that you're meeting. Right? And this is your revenge to them. It's like replacing them with someone that reminds you of them. Wow. It's making them want to have revenge on you by them going out and getting someone and flaunting them in your face. This is like mental issues here. Okay. This is ridiculous. All right. Someone's getting tarot card readings done too. Or, you know, this could be you, you know, you watching tarot, but I feel like your person or this, whoever this person is, you're no longer with is getting tarot card readers readings done to stay in your energy and to keep up with the shit that you're going through. Why? Because they don't like that, that you're walking away totally. They don't like that you're walking towards someone else totally. And they don't want that. They're stalking you energetically. For some of you, they're watching. They're absolutely watching on social media. But they're also stalking energetically. Okay? I got obsession out here twice. Energetically, they want to see where you're going to, where, you, where you're walking towards, okay? Right? This is a person interfering romantically or non-romantically, third party. They are third party in your situation right now that you have with this new person because energetically, they're keeping themselves bound to you and they're trying to do things to bind you to them, okay? I'm not playing with y'all. Witchcraft. Okay, this person is touching themselves. They're having sexual juju going on, Okay? They're, they're, they're masturbating and thinking of you and trying to connect themselves to your energy. Um, somebody is doing this, okay? Whether you know it or not, that is a form of magic, people, okay? This is going to cause a disturbance in someone's life. This is going to cause disputes and drama and unnecessary bullshit for someone. Right? Someone, either you were married to this person and you've divorced them, right? You may have some sort of dispute. You may be going through something with them, okay? Or or could be. If you divorced this person a long time ago, you're just in a constant fucking dispute with them because you just don't know what the fuck is their problem. You know, they always have a problem with you or not. And that's what I'm feeling here, right? Around the wrong people, unhealthy relationships, engaging in unhealthy habits, bad influence. This is that person that you were probably married to or committed to. What else, Spirit? They want reconciliation. Here it is. They want to, to uh, go towards you. They want to take an action. Um, some of them, they may need to travel a, a distance to you. Maybe you guys live in two different parts of a city or in two different city or two different states. Take it how it resonates. All right? So they're planning on what they can do. Okay? But they're already manipulating energy or trying to. One more card, please, Spirit. Right? This person is nothing but a conflict in your life, okay? Spirit is saying this is not a good thing. This is absolutely karmic energy. For some of you, you love this person, okay? 
Some of you may have waited for this person to come back for a long time. And this person never came back to do the things that you needed them to do. And now that you are moving forward and you seem happy, they don't like it. Okay, but this, the divine wants you to keep moving forward, okay? Because you're getting your empress, okay? This can also be a child's mother that you're dealing with, okay? Just take it as it resonates. But um, if you don't have a child's mother around you, you're walking towards your empress. Now, this will be a committed relationship, a good romance, some good shit, right? person could be fertile so if those people don't want to have more children just be mindful this person is nurturing and giving okay so this is the person that you could be walking towards you guys want to look up angel number 111 okay on google right but you have the queen of wands who is this person that that just wants you for themselves okay that's the ex the X is moving in Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, they're, they're sexy, right? You find them still sexy, right? They could have been assertive. They had a badass temper, though. Independent, take charge type of person, right? Mother. Could be nurturing as well. Card done fell to the floor for one minute. You want to take it just how it takes it. Ace, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Right? But back to this um, Queen of Wands. Whoever I'm talking to, right? Pisces, Aries energy. Okay? We are in the Pisces reading. So you guys take it how it resonates with you. But this is a passionate person. Very outgoing. Very flirty. You know, likes flirting, likes getting attention. We already saw the attention uh, whore card. This is someone that, that likes all eyes on them. And when all eyes are not on them, they have a motherfucking problem. And you guys have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You could have suffered some material loss with this person. This person could be stingy as hell, be greedy as hell, be cheap as hell, right? Yeah, I know who I'm talking about, right? They could have made your life unstable. You have a chance here for some stability with that Empress energy. But y'all may be thinking about juggling these two motherfuckers. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? Two of Pentacles energy, right? Someone got Capricorn in their chart. You don't want to do this. Because what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna, to um, fuck up your balance. Okay? You're going to fuck up your balance. You know, you don't want to juggle. You don't want to do that. You want to get balanced and you want to go forward. You want to focus on your money. You want to focus on your life and focus on your happiness and focus on this new person that you have a lot of passion for. Right? Knight of Pentacles energy. Someone could be a Leo or a Virgo. Someone works very hard. They're very patient too. Someone could feel like this person is a dream come true. Person works very hard to do certain things, okay? Very protective, very responsible, but they could be stubborn as hell. Somebody's stubborn. Somebody's like, it's my way or the highway. This is how I want things. I want it like this. Someone's stuck in their, in their ways. Now, this could either be the new person or the, or the old person, or this could be you, Pisces. Someone wants to take this relationship slow. They want to move it forward fast, right? But you have the sun. So just know that this is uh, something from the divine. This is a gift. So it's something that could be good. But you guys got to get your mind out, out of the bullshit that you're thinking about, which is that that ex or someone around you. You're thinking about that person that, that did you wrong and stabbed you in your motherfucking back 50,000 times. Ten of swords. Why is it when people get something good and they just can't 
enjoy the good shit. They got to think about what else they can get, you know? It's a Gemini energy. You ain't did a cycle with someone. Don't go backwards. That person backstabbed, right? You severed the ties. Y'all y'all said y'all goodbyes, right? You could have had a lot of violence and a lot of bullshit with this person. Spirit is saying, go towards the light. Keep going, you know? You guys are doing well. You were doing well. If this hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. But you're moving towards a Ten of Cups situation. Just remember that this person stabbed you in your motherfucking back. Just remember what this person did to you so that you can continue to move forward. Whoever I'm talking to. Please and thank you. Right? King of Cups. Right? And this is someone that has a lot of emotions. You may be trying to hold them back right now because... You're trying to figure out what the fuck you want to do. You're not offering all of yourself at this time, right? Spirit is saying, pick and choose. Okay, but pick the right motherfucker before you put yourself back in a cycle that you're going to be repeating. Who the fuck wants to re repeat a cycle? Come on, y'all. Who, who wants to do that? Who? Who? With this King of Cups, and I'm speaking to a compassionate man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is masculine energy. Whether you're feminine or masculine, this is masculine energy I'm talking to. This is someone that was a husband, a father, a generous person. When they try to do whatever they could fucking do to, to help a situation. Right? But all they got was strife. All they got was bullshit. With five of swords energy. Right? I see them walking away and surrendering to what is. Oh, I can't do nothing to change this shit. I can't do nothing to get things in my favor. Right? So I ain't even gonna fight back no more. I'm sick of this fucking hostility. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of this bullshit that I go through with this person. King of Wands. Right? And after you dealt with this person, you decided, hey, I'm just going to be free for a minute. I'm just going to cut loose. I'm just going to be a bit of a fucking man whore. I'm going to see what kind of shit I can get out here in these streets. Okay, I'm just going to cut loose. But here you are. This is right before you met this new person. And you could have met this new person on some man horse shit. Okay, page of wands. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all know I'm going to tell you how I see it. Right, you met this person while you're exploring all your possibilities. Susan and Laura and Cindy and LaQuisha. Okay. <laughs> All your fucking possibilities. This is how you met this new person. This this new person may have come out the blue. Y'all wasn't ready. Okay. But now, anytime you see a text message or a phone call from this person, your ass get excited. Right? You could be younger than this person, or maybe this person is younger than you. But guess what? This is this is a new start. Okay. Of you both exploring what it's going to be, you know, being optimistic, being playful with each other, right? Sharing ideas and shit, being enthusiastic, right? Three of Pentacles. You could have met this person through a friend, a relative, or someone in your circle. Or this person can know other people that you know, right? But Three of Pentacles energy for me is collaboration. You have a choice to make. Okay, are you going to stick around with this old person that did you fucking dirty? Okay, that's doing sexual juju to try to conjure your ass back. I'm um, speak to my men right now. Keep your dick out their mouth. Keep your dick out of their mouth. Okay, because some of you are, are allowing these... Uh, um, uh, these sexual predators, sexual demons... You're allowing them to suck the fucking soul out the tip of your dick, okay? And once that happens, you, you don't really have any control. You don't know what to do. This is you, okay? 
Allow your friends and people around you to help you, okay? Do what it is you need to do. Collaborate with this new person and try to get your life in line. And stop trying to think about the old person, okay? <laughs> For females, if I'm talking to female energy, keep your nani out that man's mouth. For some of you, you may be ruled by your groin. You may be ruled by the clit area. Okay, I'm sorry for whoever don't want to hear this, but y'all need to hear this shit. Okay? Right? He may be fucking with your soul by going down on you, male or female. Five of cups energy. This is regret. This is some bullshit. Okay? This is grief, despair, depression. Somebody mourning someone, someone being heartbroken, right? That someone's moving forward in their life. This could have been you when that person moved forward away from you, but you're trying to do what it is that you're doing, right? This is a divorce. This is a separation, right? This is someone being angry, right? This is someone trying to figure out what the fuck to do now because they feel like someone abandoned them. Or if you didn't abandon this person, they feel like you not sweating them or coming for them or or asking for them to come back to you or paying attention to them is them feeling like you abandoned them, okay? They're in their fucking head with this Eight of Swords energy, right? They feel like, hey, I'm bound to this fucking person, right? No one else is going to get this person, but I feel like right now I, I'm kind of powerless. I don't know what to do. This is why they're trying to do the bullshit on the back end side. Someone's unable to move forward here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Hopefully, y'all know who the hell I'm talking about. I'm sending y'all love and light. If y'all need me, the information's in the box below. Take care.